Welcome to another episode of TMW, Teach Me Weekly. This is episode 5 and we are working doubt. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series as well as learning something. Enjoy the workout. What is going on everybody? I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Yuri the Incredible, representing that incredible apparel. And here I go, follow the door. Sally so down. So basically this is episode 5 of Teach Me Weekly, TMW. Hashtag TMW, exactly right, so basically um, what we're going to do right now, we're going to warm up like I always say, we're going to be in the spinning room, right, so, uh, because for some reason today the gym is full, but that's not going to stop us from doing more. Some of them are in the corner, let's look at this one, some of them are in the corner, so everyone's pushing, which is good, which is good, but yeah, like you said, someone's around the corner, so what we're going to do, we're going to have a shoulder workout, we haven't done that for you guys, and one thing, it takes a special kind of guy to wear pink and pull it off. That's exactly what I'm doing, right? That's incredible. Exactly. So let's start the workout. Make me weak. You're the one I see. And I hate that I love you. I hate that I love you. If I could. It's done, basically it's done. So what we're gonna do right now, uh, we're gonna start off with our first movements and the reason why I always say that we should do cardio is to just get the blood going, right? So, and we always change up our cardio, but because we don't wanna get bored, you know? So it's all basically up to you. If you're that one person that can do the same thing all the time, it's also okay because it just works your heart and pumps the blood everywhere. So, anything that you want to add for the people? What would you just say? I was just saying. Oh, we know <laughs> no, that's bro, a team match. Right yeah. But I was just saying, like, whoever gets born, switch it up. Do your treadmill or come do your spinning, whatever. Switch it up so you don't get bored. But anyway, I want to do what you say. You said it anyway. So, yeah. Let's get off here and start off our workout. So guys, what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna start off with some shoulder presses, the machine presses. So what we're gonna do, you must remember this. Shoulder has three heads, right? It has the front, the side, and the rear down. So this one, that's a press, usually works all three heads of the shoulder. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Um, excuse me, us for the noise. For some reason, everybody's at the gym, and uh, that's because someone's coming up, like we said over there. So I might be screaming a little bit. Just bear with me, and we're gonna start off with uh, just 20, and that's a warm up set. Like I always say, to warm up, you do the exact movement that you have to do. And here we go. I always preach about starting a workout with the compound movements and that's when two or more joints are involved. In this case, the shoulder joints as well as the elbow joints are involved. The reason why I choose to do this is because it exerts a lot of energy. So it's good to do it when you are fresh at the beginning of your workout. Sometimes we gotta do it more than once. I don't feel that I'm warm enough. So I think we're gonna do another set of this. I don't know how you feel. You wanna do another set of this? Okay, yeah. Let's do another set of this and then we start the workout. You can add more reps if you don't feel like you've warmed up enough. So instead of doing 10, you can do 15 until you feel the blood pumping. Not too much when you get fatigued because then you won't be able to jump up. Just warm up. of working out is to feel good, feel healthy, and love yourself more. <laughs> I love myself. Like I said before, the reason why I start off with this, it's a full shoulder workout, full deltoid workout, meaning that you target all three heads of your deltoid, and um, it's just one of those things that we have to prime the muscle to be able to do it. Because if you just warm up like the front, and then when you're gonna start doing maybe your rear, you might get injured. So that's exactly what we're doing. 
It's called, this is um, a shoulder press machine and uh, it's just an excellent, excellent, excellent piece of machinery when you, you're doing your shoulder. And uh, let me fool, it is heavy, yeah? Because remember, you are lifting the weight and the tibia and the whole liver. You can check, it's very heavy. So sometimes you don't need to add a weight. You can just warm up with just uh, uh, with no weight and you'll be proper. The more you add, I'm sure this will be like 5 kgs. It's heavy, trust me. And then uh, you can throw your hand. But most importantly, you just warm up, not to fatigue yourself. Warm up to get the blood flowing, get the pump proper, and then uh, you jump into it. When you fatigue yourself, you won't actually uh, go hard on your actual workout. But one more thing as well, when he says don't fatigue yourself, but there's also a different kind of working out, right? Some people call it pre-exhaust the muscle. That's how I like to do it. So if you guys saw, I did a little bit more reps because when I pre-exhaust my muscle, I'm kind of fatigued, but not really, almost there. So that's how I feel it a little bit more. And uh, what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna start adding the weight. Like we said, this was a warm-up. Baby weight, I'm done. Time to go heavy. One more thing, uh, the heavier I go, the lower I go. So like, remember, find your comfortability. The lighter, if you told me, I was like, I put up here. But when I go heavy, so I can be nice and stable, hold my arms, so I can be comfortable. So, just, just a tip from my side to you. Let's start. I should bring a wheel barrel to gym, a wheel barrel, so I can put all the weights placed in it. Because looking for weights, uh, when place is tiring. <laughs> it's cardio, but uh, you know, it's much easier. Look at this. You've got to respect your weight. This is heavy. I respect the weight, and that's how you get these dials. And one of those things you must remember, back in the days, if you remember, suits had um, shoulder pads or whatever they had in the suit. Why is it that? Because when you have well-built shoulders, you just look good. Ladies will love it if you have good shoulders. It just like crosses out all the T's and dots out all the eyes. So work out your shoulders, guys. Because now you're confusing it. You're going up a pyramid, you're going down the pyramid. You see? The drop set or a pyramid is a technique for continuing exercise with a low weight once muscle failure has been achieved at a higher weight. This technique is also good to force more reps out of you so that your muscle has no choice but to grow. This is why we are in the gym. So basically what we did, we primed our shoulders and that's exactly what you want to do. So now it's nice and warm. So we're going to attack the lateral heads of the shoulders. So with the machines, you can do this with um, dumbbells as well as machine. So we're going to start off with the machine because we want to get the form absolutely right. And when you're in the machine, you sit up, you're not going to form, is not going to weather, your form is always going to be constant. And that's why machines are invented. And with shoulders, you've got to be really careful because you can injure your shoulder because it has, it rotates from either way. So you can really injure it. So you have to be careful. It happened to me. Trust me, it happened to me. Like, uh, we'll put a picture up there, like, uh, I am my shoulder, and it's right, like, be very careful. It's, yo, know, it's, it, it's bad, really bad. 
machine side raises. This machine is used to target the lateral head of your shoulder as per the name. Delta 1 of the muscle group that you need to pay special attention to because you can get injured easily. To avoid this, using machines such as this one could help because your form is always perfect. So as you guys can see, look at this. This is exactly what it does. It's targets your lateral rate of your lateral head of your, your shoulder. That's what you want to do. Have that 3D, 3D look to it. He does it this way. I'll show you the way that I do it. But at the same time, it's all all the same thing it works he, he did a whole plate right let me, let me try it's good to try it you know let's try it <laughs> i just like to make the most of it so i can see like i said before i think i've been uh, working out longer than he has Definitely. so that's um that's why my strength as well is is a little bit above him but doesn't mean that he can't keep up with me he does exactly what I tell him to do or what I'm doing. And look at his physique, it tells it says it all, right? So my turn. You need, you need some air because I'm sweating, so I'm flapping. So you need to get some air, you know? No Jordan Sparks. Cool, so basically what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna do uh, ladder raises with the, the dumbbells. The reason why we did the machine and this, when you do with the dumbbells and standing up, it engages your core. And everything, if you got a good core, you know, you just look good, right? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna start off with um, the 12.5 and we're gonna uh, work, work, work our way up. So I'm gonna start with the 12.5 and then go heavier. We obviously do four sets. So 12 to 15 reps every time. So um, that's exactly what we're gonna do. So we got the chain going. We're just waiting for him to get his weight. And when he gets his weight, we're gonna go for it. All right, so you guys ready? Yeah. Dumbbell side raises. I enjoy doing this movement standing up because it recruits your core intensively. Because having a strong core helps with everything in the gym. Um, I'm gonna show you something. Because obviously when I was doing it, I was looking in the mirror, right? And I was seeing how they were doing the side laterals. And um, I would, since it's teaching me weekly, I'm gonna have to show them the correct form. Because when you do it the way that they were doing it, your shoulder's gonna pop, my man. Shoulder's gonna pop, you don't want that. So what we're gonna do right now, I'm gonna show you exactly how I was doing it versus how I was doing it. And then, what? Well, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing and then we're gonna pan on them and to see how they're doing it. And then I'm gonna try to fix their form, right? This is how I do it. Just like in the, on the machine. I got my elbows not straight. I got my elbows bent. And you guys already can see on my shoulders it's already engaged. If you look at my delts, it's already engaged. So what I do is, Bam, 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 easy as that, right? So, let's see how they, let's do it how you are doing it. Go up. So you want, so you're doing this, you want this, you want this. I started with a lot of weights because I knew what I was talking about. So what we're gonna do is, hold it like this. So you just want your, uh, your shoulders to move. Bam, see that? Just your shoulders. You're doing this. You're doing this. So you've got to have it in front. Do that. Do that. See? It's engaged. There we go. There we go. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Alright. Break it over me for nothing. Get in tech. police comes at us again and uh, what happens is like I don't know if you guys can see I always say that um, the way that you do a movement determines on it's basically like a fingerprint the way that your your built the way that your arms are built but they weren't doing it 100% correctly because it's a form right it's gonna take a while for them to reset their brain because I changed the, the way that they have been doing it to reset their brain so it's gonna take a while but they're gonna get it right and I was being rude we got my man over here 
he's like, he saw us working out, he's like, I want to join. You know what you are? What Tell him your name. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, my name's Zilla Ken. You know what I'm saying? Out here with this big guy over here. Just came through, saw them working out. I was like, yo, let me join the word out. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Never stop. Now what we're gonna do is I started with a drop and pop. I'm gonna go up. So I'm gonna take something heavier than that. And um, they, I think they're gonna keep doing the same work that they were doing until they get that form right. So I'm gonna go for 17.5. The back and forth Has got me so messed up Don't ignore The signs we've had enough Of the whole damn thing That we got going You hold the strings Without me knowing Why do I Have to sign uh, So basically what we did We targeted the lateral head Which is that side so basically what we want to do is target all three heads so that you have that well-rounded 3d loop to use so now we're gonna attack the the front of your dart right and then usually this is another tip but because as you guys can see the, the gym was super cool usually what you want to do is start with your rear delt because a lot of people neglect it you know with your bench press you always you also work your your front delt and all of that stuff so that's why a lot of people are somehow um your front front delt only you don't want that but because the gym is full we've got to improv improvise we're going to take the we're going to do the the front delts now and uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the dumbbells and raise it, raise it, raise it. So, yeah, let's get away. Dumbbell front raises. This is used to target the front head or the interior head of your deltoid. When doing this movement correctly, it will be very good for isolation movement and targeting your shoulder and promoting gain. but I can't ignore uh, what we're gonna do right now is still targeting the rear delt. I like to do a little bit more exercise on the rear delt because like I said, a lot of people neglect it. You wanna have that 3D action. Look, I'm not saying that I, I got it, but I'm getting there. If I turn around like that, then you see the back of my shoulders popping up because I'm targeting, targeting that side of the shoulder. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do something called face pull. Face pull is basically we're gonna put the, the rope on there and pull it to your face, right? So yeah, so um, simple as that. All right, so, um, so what you wanna do is pull the rope to your forehead. That's why it's called the face pull and you should feel it in the, your rear delt. I'm gonna do it both ways, like I said. And oh, let's go. You see this guy's got a crater in his shoulder, bro. Like a meteorite hit it. Yeah. <laughs> what you wanna do is this, that, and then you pull your elbows like you've got strings this way. And you feel the difference. Yeah, no, There we go. When doing face pull, you have to try having your forearms parallel to the ground. This will help you engage your rear delt fully and you will feel it better. Our boy here is next. You can see me and you are tall. So I'm going to adjust his, uh, the weight a bit lower to accommodate him. Because if it was up here, I was going to go over his head. You don't want that. So then, as good as that, that's fine with you. That's cool, that's cool. So remember, like I always said in all the episodes, be comfortable. Know your height, know your body, and go for it. Let's go. So, I'm gonna do the seated ones now. Like I said, I think I feel it a little bit more in my rear delts when I'm sitting down. So you just have to find your perfect medium. And you must remember, you've got to feel it. Don't just do an exercise just because you, you saw somebody doing it. You've got to feel it. Like I said, 
always preaching about mind muscle connection like it will come after a while but then you feel a little bit better and that's how you grow your muscles a little bit better so let's sit down this is another variation of a face ball. Like I said in the video, you should do the movement that you feel the most, so I suggest you try both and see what suits you the best. Okay, basically what he's gonna do right now, it's his face balls. As you guys can see, he's holding it for a second and, um, and then bringing him back out. It's not just a jerky movement, he's gotta feel it. So it's a squeeze and release contract and stretch that's how you, that's how you grow your muscle just contract and stretch there we go good job yo so we still targeting that rear delt you know the rear delt head so what we're gonna do is something um there's different names for this i like to call it the crucifix so we're gonna set up the weight we're gonna take the the cables and simply do that and if you guys can see targeting my my rear dogs so that's exactly what we're gonna do i'll call it the scissor or or it's called the capitator head sha sha samurai This movement is mostly for advanced lifters. If you're still a beginner, you will most likely find it difficult to perfect the movement. Don't be discouraged, keep at it, and you'll eventually get it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you something as well. The way that you set yourself up when you're doing this thing, make sure that your hands are crossed, and make sure that you're comfortable on the thing, because you gotta remember that there's weight on this thing. Make sure, some people stand this way, some people stand with, but make sure you're comfortable and you, you steady on the floor because if you stand this way and you're not comfortable and if it's heavy for you, it's gonna pull you back. So maybe what you wanna do is stand like that and do that. So everyone is different. So you gotta choose what's comfortable for you. So remember to always stay sturdy on the, this thing, right? Always be comfortable, it makes your, your gymming easier you know when you're not comfortable you get hurt and you'll enjoy your, your experience so yeah be comfortable if you do the one handed one you know uh, individual which is good to to also like uh, if you one hand one arm is weaker than the other perfect for that when you, when you know you got uh, 50 or whatever, whatever, if you can use 12 feet, you got no time to jump, you can use, do the two-handed one. That's good right here. I can make two -handed. So, you look at his one, that's one-handed. Like, I always, always um, preach about doing the unilateral. That's where you, if there's imbalances in your, on your body, you know where you get it from, and you know how to target. So like you said, this is um, this takes a little bit of time. It's gonna take obviously double the time to do that. If you don't have time to be in the gym, you can do it the way that you do it, the way that he's doing it. But if you know that you got a weakness in like in one of your shoulders, you gotta do it one at a time so that you can figure it out and fix the imbalance, right? So. shoulder workout done, delts done. We did the three heads of the delts. Hopefully you guys learned something. We gotta send a special shout out to our man over here. Come on, come on, come on, sit right here. Yo, 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 yo. Sit right here. Yo, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, so like I said, um, if you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Anything else you gotta say? Definitely. Uh, I learned a lot, you know. Uh, don't think. I'm actually sure got to wondering why I didn't speak a lot. Because why I listen, understand and apply. That's the most important thing. You know, the 
Sensei is here. Get to help us. Teach me weekly. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Take a friend. Take the friend now, now, now. Thank you, Sebo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yo. I'd just like to thank these guys for the opportunity allowing uh, me to work out with them. Uh, watch Teach Me Weekly each and every single week. You know, I'm a beginner, but I've learned quite a lot from these guys. Right now. Um, you are who you say you are. You're the incredible dad. Peace.